you're gonna like today's video, rock on. Do you have a Spark app and a computer? Let's get connected. Hey folks, Jimmy D here from Jimmy D's Guitar Lessons and Rock Talk. Today we're gonna to talk about Spark amplifiers. How do you hook it up to your computer? How do you do multi-track recording? Stay tuned. All right, so you're all excited. You got your Positive Grid Spark 40 amp. You registered it online. You've downloaded the app. You've been playing for a while, and now the next step you want to do is connect it to the computer so you can start recording. All right, turn your amp around. You do have some uh, included USB connectors. So this is a USB B connector. Plug it in the back. You'll see it's very uh, straightforward. Plug one in the back there, then go onto your computer, and we'll hook it up to there. All right, take that USB connector now, right there, stick it in the computer, and you're ready for action. All right, you hooked up your Spark app to your computer. Now what do you do? Well, take a look in your package and pull out your registration card and register it. So after you've done that, you'd want to install the software on your computer called Studio One. It is the um, software you're going to use to do your multi-track recording. Uh, once you install it, let's come back to here and we'll continue on. What are you using, a Mac or a PC? Let me know in the comments below. So the next thing we have to do is to download the drivers for the uh, positive grid spark app and this is where we do it we come to this website positivegrid.com we're going to click on amps spark and it's going to take us to another page here and then this leads us here from here we go down we click on support and when you click support you'll see on the right hand side the driver that's the USB driver you need for Windows. So this is where people, some people get hung up on. This is a very important part of the uh, equation here. Once you get here, you can read all this stuff. Then uh, you can just click on the uh, download file and take it from there. I have already installed the driver, but we'll just show you how to go through it. So you'll get here and you'll see positive grid. USB audio driver and just click on it and it'll go into a folder. Well, I've downloaded it to my computer and you'll see a couple of files. I already extracted it. Once you extract it, just look for the EXE file and give a click on that and it will start doing its magic and open up another window and the installation will, uh, will start. You will see this window pop up here. It's the installation window. And uh, pretty simple. Just click on next. We'll take it from there. So as you know, I already had this installed on my computer, but for demonstration purposes, when I click on next, I actually have to uninstall the software, then reinstall. It's all good though. Hey, it would really help me out if you guys subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and really important, leave some comments below. This really helps me out. I usually put uh, weekly videos up, more guitar lessons, but we'll do some tech talk too. Thanks very much. Well, this is almost downloaded now. We've got a few seconds to go. It's almost done. It is done. We click on next. It shows here that it is installed, which is a good sign. Now we're going to get ready to go on to the next step. The next step is to finally open Studio One the software that comes with the spark app so click on it this is what happens it starts firing up there's an interface screen here that talks about uh, what's going on so you will see that the spark app interface is there is located there which is good you might get an error message and here's what the error message will look like you will have to change the sample rate to 48. You see this little drop down menu here? 
type it in there. If not, you'll have issues, you'll have errors, and you'll go crazy. Click on OK. All right, this is where the fun begins now. Let's go here, we'll click on Add Track. We'll call it Guitar One. We'll click OK. All right, click here where it says Input One. Go down to I.O. Input. You'll see here, you got the positive grid. You're gonna select OK, Stereo or Mono. Choose what you wish. Click OK. And let's get ready to rock. From here, I'm gonna click on the record button and get ready to play. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add a second track. We're gonna go up to that plus button. We're gonna add a track. I'm gonna call this guitar number two. Once I do that, I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna click on uh, check the IO for the input. Just to ensure that says the positive grid. And then I'm ready to hit the record button. You can now see my uh, input levels there in the uh, green there. We're ready to go. And that's how you hook your uh, Positive Grid Spark app up to the computer. That's it. You can click and save. You can mix it. You can do lots of stuff. It's all endless. Endless possibilities. Well, I saved the file and this is what that basic recording sounded like with no effects or anything. Well, I hope you liked this video and it helped you out and got your Spark connected with no problems whatsoever. Take care, please like and subscribe and I'll have more videos coming shortly. Rock on!